Circle was talking about. Looks like the place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. Wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. Keep the pressure on it. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. Uh, there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering Ashblood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing, but I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... Tell him I'm here. I'll be able to use my focus to find any survivors.
Going down. The water feels thick. Polluted. Guess this won't help the water shortage in Skull's Spear. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay. I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next to it. inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Okay. You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. 
Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Oh, it didn't look like Kim's up with this group. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. Sit tight. I'll take care of them. Fire will make things easier. Now. We're coming down. everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again.
Hey, you! Outlander! Up here! We've got wounded up here. Need an easy way down. And fast! Uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. I know they're little, but I must be stuck on something else. I think this can help me search. Crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Take a look. Of the ten. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded leaving us stranded, and we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. It for survivors. I didn't see Ken talk among them. I should head back to the city. That'll keep me awake.
Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to a squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? Guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water's poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert. Where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital, we collect rocks. Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple... Soldiers posted as lookouts to start.